A government-approved multi-million dollar renewable energy project in the Exuma Keys has become an innovation in the region and a possible roadmap for future development in the Bahamas. In this CNS News exclusive, Giovanni Stewart takes us to the remote over yonder key in the Exumas. Like other far-flung Bahama Islands, getting to over yonder key in the Exumas is quite an adventure. First, it's a plane ride from Nassau to Staniel Key, then a sail off to over yonder passing pet sharks, even swimming pigs along the way. But when you finally get there, seeing is believing. Giant energy windmills, a football stadium-sized solar panel setup. Minister of State for the Environment Fenton Nemore says, though, it's the remote nature of islands like over yonder key that makes it virtually impossible for BEC to provide cost-effective energy. Therefore, it has to be provided by some other means. Well, when we began to formulate the national energy policy and also review BEC's expansion plan, we recognized that in the family islands, the cost of production of energy is about five times that of New Providence. And it makes renewable projects more feasible in the family islands. And so when this project came up, it was only natural that we used it as an example of how important renewable energy can be uh, in the future for the Bahamas, and particularly in the Exuma Keys, where the environment is very sensitive and we're sitting here in the Exuma Park. The 70-plus acre over yonder key is owned by the Bassage family. They were among the first to take advantage of the government lower tax break on renewable energy products. The family compound features four homes and other buildings, including marina and clinic, all powered by a combination of wind and solar energy. The lead engineer is Mike McGuire. At the heart of any island a renewable energy system, uh, one where you don't have a utility grid present. Generally, you have a, um, the heart of a system, and batteries are the heart of a system that is an island renewable energy system. Uh, in this system, we have 540 of these 2,500 amp hour batteries. Allows us to run the island at full load for about a day. Uh, that means uh, boats in the marina, all the houses, everything, all the lights on, all the, every, all the appliances running. Minister Nemore, himself an engineer, says the $6 million renewable energy investment at Over Yonder Key is unique in that it is the only project of its kind in the region using more than one source of natural energy, sun and wind, with a diesel generator as the backup. The environment minister believes it is the perfect model for family island development going forward. Without question, in the Exuma Keys, this could be replicated. Here on Yonder Key, builders are on a mad pace to try and finish this compound in time for the Christmas holidays. Reporting from the Exuma Keys, I'm Giovanni Stewart, ZNS News.